Encoding is exactly the opposite of uh, decoding, and the encoder is the function block which does uh, encoding. The size of the encoder is specified again by two numbers, m and n. So we have m inputs and n inputs. The relationship between those two numbers is m is 2 to the n at maximum size. How the encoder works is that only one of the input is 1, and while the rest of the input is 0, then output produces a binary number with the n bits uh, representing which input is 1. So that is a basic functionality of an encoder. So for example, if we have a 8 by 3 encoder, as the block diagram shows, so you have 8 inputs and 3 outputs. Uh, how this encoder works is, uh, uh, first, uh, only one of the input is 1. So we don't have any two inputs one simultaneously. That's the precondition of the encoder. Then the output produces a 3-bit binary number telling which input is 1. So considering D0 is the least significant position, that X is the most significant position of output, then if input has a 1 on D0, then output produces 0, 0, 0, which means uh, the zeroth position of the input is a 1. And if uh, output is a 0, 0, 1, that indicates uh, the input position 1 is a 1, while the rest of 7 inputs are zeros. And so, so as you can see, the truth table of uh, encoder on input side, only 1 is uh, showing up on diagonally only. That's the precondition, so we have only one of the input is one. And while the rest of the inputs must be zero, that's a precondition of the encoder. Priority encoder is uh, that uh, in the uh, encoder, we just discussed uh, uh, if uh, more than one input value is one, the, then the encoder we just designed does not work. So we have a uh, a slight uh, variant of uh, encoder which accepts uh, more than one input is one, but uh, here uh, this encoder works uh, such that uh, if uh, uh, more than one input has one value, then output produces uh, the position of the input which is the most significant position. That is called a uh, priority encoder. Let me talk about that as an example. Suppose we have a four input priority encoder. Four inputs are D0 through D3. And the D0 is the least significant position, while the D3 is the most significant position, assuming that. But in the output x, y, x is most significant position while uh, y is at least a significant position. So how does this priority encoder work? It is as follows. You can give more than one input having ones. Uh, for example, if uh, you have a, a 1 on D0 and the 0 and the rest of the inputs, uh, then output produces 0, 0, which means uh, 0, 0 which is binary 0, 0 is a decimal 0. So input 0 has a 1. That's the in information. If you have a uh, 0 or 1 on D0 and the D1 has a 1, while D2 and D3s are zeros, uh, then in this input, the most significant position which has 1 is a D1. So output produces a 1 in binary number. But if input has a, something like this, a D2 is a 1, while D3 is a 0, and the D0 and the D1, those are any combination of zeros and 1s, uh, then the most significant position of the input, which has 1, is a D2, so the output produces a binary number corresponding to 2, it's a 1, 0, and so on. So that's uh, how priority encoder works. Uh, in this case, uh, we have some uh, 
special case uh, which never occurs in general encoder, which is that since output 0, 0 represents uh, that the 0 has 1, if uh, input does not have uh, 1 at all, that is a very special case. Uh, then we cannot indicate uh, that with the uh, two outputs. Uh, so we have another special status output called uh, valid. Uh, so here, valid is whether inputs have at least one, one or not. That is indicated. Zero means uh, there is no ones uh, on input side. So valid is one. Then output xy has a meaning. Otherwise, output xy does not have a meaning. That's a status output called a v. Actually, we can design 4-bit binary, 4-bit uh, priority encoder using uh, the Boolean expression and the combination circuit design with the K-maps and so on as we learned from pr previous chapter. So this is a truth table for priority encoder, which actually this is a comb combination of three truth table. One for fun uh, function X, another for function y, another for function v. Those three functions are combined together in a one extended truth table. So for output y, function x is defined uh, this way. We can get that from the k-map. So y has uh, those values. Uh, so uh, as we utilize uh, don't care conditions, uh, we have a simplified ex expression here. Similarly, for y, we have a simplified expression. We can derive it from the k-map. But v, you could get using uh, k-map again, but uh, you can simply find that the Boolean expression of v is a 1 if any of those input is a 1. So we can simply combine all of these, these all of those inputs and in or function, then that's a function for v. So out of those three simplified Boolean equations, you can design a circuit like this, and this becomes a 4-bit priority encoder.